Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and uh, I'm, I'm. This is gonna be the uh, quarantine hair edition of uh, of the Blue Pecan channel. So, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, it is definitely time for this guy to get a haircut. Um, so, on this video, I'm actually bringing back. Uh, an old video that I made on my personal channel. Uh, this is before the Blubicon was, well, the Blubicon. And uh, this is a little video tutorial I made on how I set up my hardtop system, which you can kind of see behind me, is uh, up in the air. But uh, yeah, that's how I, I get the uh, top off of the Blubicon. Let me show you how I did it. Alright guys, I want to show you the Jeep hoist system that I just finished installing in my garage. I've got a um, nice high rooftop in here, um, as you can see, so plenty of room uh, to mount stuff to the ceiling. And so, boom, there we go. Now let me show you what exactly I'm using, how I installed all of this. So what makes it all work? is this nice heavy duty 1500 pound trailer winch. I got this at AutoZone, I think it was 40 bucks. And so the trailer winch is then connected to one of my two by fours here uh, in order to uh, really reinforce it. Obviously I got a bunch of brackets. So both sides are uh, reinforced with uh, three brackets each on this two by six. And then I mounted the uh, winch to the two by six. So um, then I've got some standard rope, just this stuff here. And I went ahead and ran two lines up. There's two pulleys behind there. And then you can see that they, they, it breaks off. So I have a separate line for each corner coming up. And we have a pulley over here. And we've got another pulley over here. And same thing, I'll show you the other side over here and one pulley over here. So this is how it sits before we jack up the uh, the top. So let me pull the Jeep back in and I'll show you where we go. All right, so before I get ready to hoist everything up, I take the Freedom Tops off, throw them in the Freedom Bag, and set it nicely on top of my uh, hard top. So I got a place to store that while this thing is up in the rafters. So um, let's get these uh, hooks ready. Uh, hook underneath the Jeep. All right, so what you want to do then is just lower your hooks down to the top. I bought a pool noodle and chopped it into quarters. So uh, put the pool noodle here to uh, give a little bit of cushion as I jack this thing up. And uh, then we just get ready to hoist it off. So um, hang tight and we'll show you what that looks like. All right, up she goes. All right, so the last thing that I do here, because I don't want all the weight of this uh, hard top hanging from that uh, two by four that I bolted the winch to. So I've got some straps here. And make sure I get them up under my noodles. thing will be to release the, uh, the hooks. Alright, so basically all I did was just kind of release most of the tension from the main hoist system. So I would say 95% of the weight is on the straps and I just have enough tension on the hooks to keep them in place so that when it comes time to uh, lift, lower this thing back down on the Jeep already got all my hooks in place and everything's ready to go I don't have to reattach everything so that's it uh, total cost probably about 150 bucks for everything um, and uh, yeah I like it works good <laughs> 